nation without a vision of what the future can be is bound to repeat past errors over and over again. This brief video will outline a vision designed to avoid old mistakes. A vision of efficiency, sustainability, and intelligent planning can lead us into a marvelous new world of unlimited human potential. Designing the Future. This vision could be a showcase of what the world can be in our cybernated age. Science and technology could be used for human betterment and the restoration and protection of the environment serving as an example of the intelligent application of a systems approach. While some people advocate the restoration of existing worn out cities, these efforts fall short of the potentials of modern technology Repairing outmoded cities results in higher costs of operation and maintenance. It is actually less expensive in the long run to build newer cities from the ground up than to restore and maintain old ones. A total city system approach requires overall planning to attain a higher standard of living for all the city's occupants. The circular arrangement efficiently permits the most sophisticated use of available resources and construction techniques with a minimum expenditure of energy. This can make available to all people the most advanced amenities that modern science and technology can provide. It could be the hub and learning center where people from all over the world visit and hopefully emulate this design approach in other parts of the world. Design considerations for these new cities include its overall functioning, its ease of assembly, the reduction of maintenance, efficient transportation, and its simplicity and durability. This will include the flexibility to permit ongoing and later changes. The city would function as an evolving, integrated organism rather than a static structure. This system's approach envisions assembling entire cities by standardizing basic structural elements, which are prefabricated in automated plants and assembled on site. Many of these buildings would be comprised of standard units that can be arranged to meet many different requirements. This approach means that these cities can be extremely cost efficient because only one sector needs to be designed which can be duplicated repeatedly for the completion of an entire city as totally integrated city systems anywhere in the world. The outer perimeter will be part of the recreational area with golf courses, hiking and biking trails, and opportunities for water sports. Inside this area, a waterway surrounds an agricultural belt with indoor and outdoor agriculture. Continuing toward the city center, eight green sectors provide clean, renewable resources of energy using wind, solar, and heat concentrators. Waste recycling and other services are located beneath the city. The plan utilizes the best of clean technology in harmony with the surrounding environment. The residential district features beautiful landscaping with lakes and winding streams, a wide range of creative, innovative apartment buildings and individual unique homes will provide many options for the occupants. New and innovative methods of fast mass construction for housing and building systems will inject composite materials into a mold and then extrude the form upward. In some cases, Multiple city apartments can be produced as continuous extrusions, which are then separated into individual units. Cranes transport these prefabricated dwellings to site locations. They are then lifted and inserted into a support structure. The apartments are lightweight and high strength. All of the dwellings are designed as self-contained residences. The outer surface of these efficient structures serve as photovoltaic generators converting solar radiation directly into electricity for heating, cooling, and other needs. The thermocouple effect will also be used for generating electricity. 
The wide range of individual homes are prefabricated and relatively maintenance-free, fire resistance, and impervious to weather. With this type of construction, there be little or no damage from floods, earthquakes, or hurricanes. Their thin shell construction can be mass produced efficiently and economically. New energy efficient systems can be installed to supply enough power to operate the entire household. Adjacent to the residential district are planning, science, and research centers. Eight domes surrounding the central dome house art, music, exhibition, entertainment, and conference centers. Lovely parks, lakes, streams, and waterfalls are located throughout the entire city. The Central Dome, or Theme Center, contains schools, healthcare, shopping, communications networking, and childcare. It is also the core for most transportation services, which move people by transveyors horizontally, vertically, and radially anywhere in the city. This minimizes the need for automobile transportation, except for emergency vehicles. Transportation between cities would be by monorail. The central dome will eventually house a cybernated complex, which serves as the brain and nervous system of the entire city. It projects a 3D virtual image of Earth using satellite communication systems which display information on weather, agriculture, transportation, and the operation of the whole city. This cybernated system will use environmental sensors to help maintain a balanced load economy which avoids overruns and shortages. For example, in the agricultural belt, electronic probes monitor and maintain the soil conditions water table, nutrients, and more. This method of electronic feedback can be applied to the entire city complex. With computers now able to process trillions of bits of information per second, they are vital for arriving at correct decisions for the management of these innovative cities. The architectural structures themselves will be jewels of future possibilities with a wide variety of exhibition buildings. Many of the displays will depict not what the future will be, but what it can be. Some of the cities may be total enclosure systems, which are self-sufficient. These massive structures would contain residences, parks, recreation, entertainment, health care, educational facilities, and more. Everything built in these cities would be as near to a self-contained system as conditions allow. In these total enclosure arrangements, the skyscraper assures that more land is available for parks and wilderness preserves, while at the same time eliminating urban sprawl. Wherever possible, geothermal energy can be harnessed. Geothermal power offers the possibility of an abundant source of clean energy. This source alone could provide enough energy for the next thousand years. National transportation systems would include a network of waterways and canals. These bodies of water could minimize the threat of floods and droughts by diverting floodwaters to storage basins. In addition, these canals could supply water for irrigation, fish farms, and recreation. The canals can also be used for desalinization using a method of evaporative condensation. In some instances, ships could serve as floating automated plants, capable of processing raw materials into finished products while en route to their destinations. Huge ships and submarines with many removable and interchangeable compartments will carry freight across the oceans. Rather than separate containers, an entire freight section can be automatically disengaged at the port. Bridge designs would be greatly simplified and bridges can be made corrosion resistant. They would be prefabricated and transported to the site by twin-hulled catamarans. On some bridges, trains could be suspended beneath traffic lanes. Colonization of the oceans is one of the last frontiers remaining on Earth. Prodigious oceanic city communities 
will evolve as artificial islands, floating structures, undersea observatories, and more. These large marine structures are designed to explore the relatively untapped riches of the oceans and provide improved mariculture, fresh water production, energy, and mining. This could offset land-based shortages. They could also provide almost unlimited riches in pharmaceuticals, chemicals, fertilizers, minerals, oil, and natural gas. Ocean cities would be resistant to earthquakes and greatly relieve land-based population pressures. The population would vary from several hundred to many thousand. Underwater oceanic viewing and research facilities provide expansive panoramic observations of the undersea world in its natural habitat without disturbing the ocean environment. Unsinkable floating sea domes will attract those who prefer unique offshore or island living. In the event of inclement weather, they could easily be towed ashore, mounted, and anchored to elevated support structures. Mariculture and sea farming systems are used to cultivate and raise fish and other forms of marine life to help meet nutritional needs. These marine enclosures are designed as non-contaminating integral parts of the ocean environment. If we use science and technology with human and environmental concerns, it could be a vivid future showcase of the human potential when working together to preserve the greatest gift we have, the resources and beauty of our planet Earth. In the final analysis, we are one people and share one planet. If you desire more information on any of the systems seen in this video, visit our website at www.thevenusproject.com.